Hi, I'm Sandy McClee and this is Idle Quarters Scattered Light. I'm just going to take you through a few things. It's very easy, so don't worry about it. This is Scattered Light, appropriately named because of the holes in the ceiling and roof. Scattering light works everywhere. This is a scene from Coleman's Corp in Namibia. It's got to be one of my new favorites. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just turn on the light. Um, I've installed lights in this artwork because at the back here you'll see that the light is kind of lost by building the 3D effect. So what I've done is I've added lights to help balance out the contrast and brightness of the artwork. So we don't always need the lights on. They are there just to bring the artwork to its final touch. It's just something special that I've added. Give it that extra bit of creativity. So before we hang our artwork up, we need to install the power bank. Place it down on a flat, smooth surface so that we don't damage the frame. What you'll see as an opening, this is where our power bank goes. I've either provided you with one or I've sent you a link to purchase one that will work. Most power banks will work, especially the older types. Um, they don't have any of the new fancy USBs. So this is a micro USB and a standard USB, the larger one that we always see. Okay, so let's insert those into your power bank right and before we put it in we're just going to double check with the power supply that it is able to charge properly let's just make sure that the power banks working and that the connections are securely in so we're going to take the provided power supply and we're going to insert that in make sure the artwork is off so that would be towards the back of the frame and then we'll just check if that it's got power. Here has a green light that shows that the power from the wall socket is providing power to the artwork. And then we can go to the power bank itself and just look at the light. It's flicking, that means it is charging. Great, we can take that out now over here and we can place this in. What I have done is provided you with some Velcro. It'll be tucked away inside here. You can pull the Velcro apart, one stuck inside already. This is the other side. What we can do is we can peel that off and we can place that on the power bank. This will just help it stay securely and won't fall out when you move the artwork around. Let's tuck those cables in, place it all the way to the back so it doesn't touch the wall. And we can just squeeze down the Velcro and it'll stay there easy and done. Don't worry, there's no cover here. That is so that any heat produced by the power bank can escape. Great, now let's hang it up. That we have the artwork up, and I'll show you a little bit about installing and running electronics. Inside is a power bank. This is the same power bank that you use for charging your phone. What you must remember is that not all power banks can be charged and supply power at the same time. This is a built-in safety feature. So when charging the artwork or the power bank, you're gonna make sure that the artwork is off, otherwise it may not charge. Um, so the first thing we do is we insert the USB cable. You'll see the light comes on, confirming that there is a charge. And then this is the on and off switch, which turns the lights on and off. Um, Pulling towards you and switching on and then pushing away from you part of the switch is to turn it off remember again you can't always run the artwork and charge at the same time thanks for taking time to watch the video I hope that really helped a lot remember if you are battling you're welcome to contact me and I can guide you through the steps